we're live at the South Windsor Motor Speedway where the Season 8 of the Reebok Kev Cup Series kicks off its chase. It's going to be a great race today as two drivers will be eliminated from the chase going into Talladega. Some drivers such as the 24 Jeff Gordon, the 18 car of Kyle Busch will simply, and the 14 of Tony Stewart will simply have to stay there, hold their ground in order to advance to the next round. While the drivers such as the one of Jamie McMurray and the four of Kevin Harvick will have to pass a lot of cars to make it up to the front. So, and meanwhile, some other guys like the eleven car of Denny Hamlin and the forty eight of Jimmy Johnson, they're if they stay where they are, they're gonna need some help in order to make it into the next round. Talladega is gonna be crazy, but right now we're here at South Windsor. It's the first time on the schedule anyone can win this, so let's see what happens. On row 1, we have the 24 car of Jeff Gordon and the 18 car of Kyle Busch. In row 2, we have the 14 car of Tony Stewart and the 20 car of Matt Kenseth. Rolling off in row 3, we have the 55 car of Brian Vickers and the 5 car of Casey Kane. In row 4 today, we have the 27 car of Paul Menard alongside the 48 car of Jimmy Johnson. Starting off today in row 5, we have the 16 car of Greg Biffle and the 15 car of Clint Boyer. In row 6, we have the 11 car of Danny Hamlin and the 41 car of Kurt Busch. Rolling off the grade eight in row seven, we have the forty three car of Eric Elmerol and the eighty eight of Dan Hart Jr. In row eight, we have the one car of Jamie McMurray and the twenty two car of Joey Logano. In row nine, we have the forty two car of Kyle Larson and the two car of Brad Keselowski. Starting today in row ten, we have the ninety nine car of Carl Edwards and the nine car of Marcus Ambrose. In row eleven, we have the ten car of Danica Patrick and the four car of Kevin Harvick. And rounding out the field today, in row 12, we have the 17 car of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. The field's coming off the final turn. We're green flag racing here at South Windsor. Jeff Gordon leads down to turn one. He's got Stewart and Bush behind him. They're going to split him. And Bush is going to get the better run through the corner. And he's going to take the lead on the outside. Contact there on the lap two. Now there's two more Toyotas back there. The 20 of Kenseth and the 55 of Vickers on board with the 18 of Kyle Bush. Rounding these bends on the lap three. Bush still the leader. Stewart is right there. However, Kenseth is right behind him with Vickers also there. The 24 of Gordon is sliding back a little bit here coming on to lap four. And now it's going to be Matt Kenseth in second all over the back. Oh, we've got a spin. It's a 41 car of Kurt Busch around taking out a couple Fords of them. 99 of Edwards, 9 of Ambrose, and 2 of Keselowski. And Johnson South Pit Road, a chase contender. Oh, man, it looks like the 41 of Bush got turned by the 99. A bunch of guys know where to go. And it looks like Johnson got into the 9, causing him to have to go down pit road. We're going to get back on the way on lap 5. Gibbs cars on the front row. Kyle Busch jumps out there. Kenseth is staying there, but now Paul Menard moves into second. There are all three Gibbs cars down in the top four as Menard is battling for the lead. Now Hamlin is going to try to go for second, but Menard's going to take the lead. Great move by Paul Menard going down the back stretch, and he leads us on to lap seven. Oh, we've got another spin. It's the 43 on the roll and the 42 of Larson. And it looks like the 22 guard of Logano is down pit road. Let's see what happened here. It looks like Logano got into the 43. He tries to save it, but ends up going to the outside wall. Larson with nowhere to go. And we're going to get back in the way now with three laps to go. McMurray gets a huge jump on the restart and takes the lead. Now you've got the 20 car of Kenseth there going for second. Three wide already throughout the back of the field. Two laps to go. Menard is there. Can he get around the one car of Jamie McMurray? Kyle Busch still lurking in third. Can he make a move? He's going to try to go for second, but he's not going to get a white flag. Can Menard get around the one car? He's there. He looks to the inside. He's going to make the move. McMurray's there. He gets loose. And Paul Menard takes an exciting race here at South Windsor. A great race here. That ends with Paul Menard making the last lap move on the one car of Jamie McMurray to take this victory. Although it came a race too late for the 27th, Matt Damon will not lock himself in the chase. Colin Ward comes home in second, Stephen Cooper third, Blaine Keyes comes home in fourth, and Cody Hagen rounds up the top five. Alan Kevin Arrow comes home in sixth, the lowest finishing Gibbs driver with two Hendrick drivers running out the top eight. David Carey in the 55 comes home in ninth, and Henry Cavanaugh, the highest finishing Ross driver, comes home in tenth. Just for Life XL comes home in 11th. Chase Kendrick and Philip Watson, disappointing days for them. It's going to be tight to see if they make this make the second round. Ian Ascar, 48, falls down to set, finishes in 17th. Kyle Busch, fan, 17, a dis, dismal season for him. He rounds out in 20th. P.J. Williams is 22nd. Dale Sullivan comes home in 21st. Now the standings going into the second round of the chase. We have six drivers left. Philip Watson and Chase Kendrick were eliminated today by one point as Chris Harley barely sneaks in. 
Then Colin Ward, Stephen Cooper, Alan Cavanaugh, Reed Ponder, Aaron Lukes, and Chris Harley are will be going into Talladega with a chance at this championship. Matt Damon is in seventh, or er, in ninth, tied with Blaine Hughes, who rounds out the top ten. David Carey in eleventh, and Stuart Gratton, who missed the chase by one point, is in twelfth. He would have been eliminated anyway. Now towards the back of the standings, these guys just hoping to salvage a win towards the end of the standings. It looks like just for FXL, he's probably gonna have a decent shot at Talladega. He could get the, get a victory along with like the two car PJ Williams and the ten of the NASCAR forty.